Let's do a pressure and vacuum test on this Yamaha lower end, although the steps will be the same for other makes and models. The oil looked great when I drained it, so I'm really not expecting any problems. Um, the fitting I'm using comes from the lower end fill tool that I bought from Yamaha, and I attached it to this pressure vacuum plump, pump from Mighty Vac. Uh, there were many brands of these pumps available online, but most of them get pretty bad reviews for being able to hold the pressure or vacuum long enough to be useful for a leak down test. Online feedback for this pump was positive for how I wanted to use it, and you could get rebuild kits in case you wear out the internals. This unit has a valve for switching from pressure to vacuum and a trigger to release the pressure or vacuum from the system. So let's get started and pressurize uh, the lower end and see how our seals hold up. Yamaha calls for the seals to hold 9.9 .9 PSI for 10 seconds, uh, but I'm just going to call 10 PSI close enough. That was more than 10 seconds and the seals are holding just fine. Okay, let's see if the seals will hold vacuum as well. Not expecting any surprises here. The oil looked fine, there was no water in it, and the pressure test showed no leaks. So this vacuum test should go smoothly as well. My seals are fine and ready for another season. Also very happy with this tool as a leak down tester. Had we seen any leakage in the gauge, we would next need to find the source. And I had already tested the pump itself by plugging and pressurizing the hose, so I knew that that portion of the system is fine. The prop shaft would be my first target, and I would use a little soapy water and air pressure to see if it was leaking there. The next two potential sources are of a leak are on top of the lower unit and normally covered by the water pump housings. In this photo, I have them removed since I'm replacing them as well. First seal is for the drive shaft, and the one on the right is for the shift cam. Thankfully, my seals are in good shape, and this unit is ready for new gear lube. Thanks for watching.